Put on a pair of disposable non-latex gloves. You will be handling a test card that has a small concentration of lead. Disposable gloves are necessary for your safety. Find a discreet location to score the painted surface that is being tested. For example, use the sides of window sills, lower parts of a door frame, wall, etc. to not make your cut obvious and intrusive to your customer. Clean and remove all dust and dirt from the area to be tested. Make a V-like mark with your cutting tool, a small quarter inch cut, on the painted surface to be tested. Connect the two lines of the V and lift the painted surface to expose the bare wood underneath. You have now disturbed the paint, enabling it to be tested for lead. Activate the test kit, squeeze and crush points marked A and B located on the barrel of the lead check swab. Shake the test kit to mix the substances. You should see a yellow amber colored substance at the end. Gently squeeze the barrel until the yellow liquid comes to the tip of the swab. The swab is now activated for testing. Drop a small amount of the yellow liquid onto one of the circles of the testing card. If the droplet turns red, the test is working properly and will not give a false reading. For your actual test, gently rub the activated swab in the exposed area for 30 seconds. If any of the layers contain lead, a positive result will occur and the swab or surface will turn pink or red. As mentioned, if the swab tip and or test surface turn pink or red, the test is positive. If the swab tip and or test surface shows no pink or red color change, the test is negative. Lead is not detected in the test area. After previously attaching the large garbage bag to the wall using painter's tape, we are now going to show you the correct way to dispose of all of the items that we have used in this skill set. This is the way to properly dispose of the gloves, test kits, and lead cards.